We're on our way to Lee and Tiffany and Lukowski to show them how these spray drones work. So once it gets done, it will paint the lines green where it's gone. I've never flown my drone in such high winds. The drift is going all over the place. It's windy. You would never spray in such wind. And then it's gonna start its mission. So it's doing this all on its own right now. All right, guys, I'm Mike with New Way Ag. We are here at our distributor to pick up one of our first heavy lift delivery drones. It is a drone that can deliver things that you can't even think about in ways that will change how rescues are done, how camps are set up. Who knows what it'll be used for? It's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to stick around for and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be bringing you that content. We're on our way to Lee and Tiffany Lukowski to show them how these spray drones work, how accurate they can be, and how he can add it to his farm of tools to be able to spray his food plots or be able to spray his cornfields or whatever he has. He will be able to do it all with these spray drones. So we got to file three hours from here and then we'll be there and we'll, uh, we'll just see what we get into. All right, we just got to Lee and Tiffany. Really excited about showing him the drones. He's on a podcast right now, so I'm not gonna interrupt him. He's in his house. We'll go in there, meet him, get the drones taken off, and see what he thinks. Pretty excited about it. Opportunity's pretty big. We're doing with like a Mavic drone is actually taking a photo every second. It'll fly across it like this, photo every second, you put it into software and you can build your boundaries right to the edge like because right. it's up to date. Another way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to take the drone back and I'm actually manually going to fly around the edges and that'll show me where the track of the drone went and then I'll build my boundaries. I've never flown my drone in such high winds. I'm going to fly the drone and we're going to create the boundary with the drone. We could map it. We could do it on our phone. There's so many different ways we could do it, but we're just going to do a little field because of how windy it is. We'll send it in there, get that built for him and let him see what it looks like. It is going to suck because of the wind. This ring is telling me like how close I am right now. It's saying I'm 32 feet from that. And then basically it's sensing the trees. This is not the fastest way to do this, but like if you have to boundary your fields like this, it can totally be done. It's honestly handling that wind pretty decent. Toward this cedar tree, as soon as I get real close to it, I'm trying to go forward, but it... Like when it's red like that, it's like saying, no bueno, don't go closer. Now I flew it around there. Mm -hmm. I know where it's at. So I'm gonna go ahead and create boundaries and I'm just gonna use this cursor. So I'm gonna zoom in on it and drop pins. You could boundary that field. Like, let's say that is a field you wanna boundary, right? Mm -hmm. You just bring that cursor, drop it. But since I've started over here, it's gonna think yeah. that's part of it. So I'll get this built. And that'll be a good field to put it in actually with those obstacles. Okay, so that's just a little field. So it's gonna have uh, that field, we're gonna name it uh, we'll just name it test uh, for now, save it. Now that it's got saved in here, it turns yellow. You want to use that field. You click on it, hit use. Uh, in here is where you tell it what you want it to do. We'll just go 190. We're going to see a lot of drift. Once you get that up, up there, it's saying I can't upload the job because it doesn't have uh, fluid in it. So that's will tell you how the drone's going to fly. It's going to come to that start point. It's going to fly up here going to come back down, going to hit a little row. It will start up further. It's like there's no need to go right to it because I'm going to get my right, swash yeah. coming down. This will tell you if the drone is connected to the controller or not. Once it's green, it, it's connected. OK, so we're just going to swipe that. It's going to cycle up. It's going to fly over there, and then it's going to start its mission. And I've never seen it do it in such high winds. So it's doing this all on its own right now. It's going to go to the altitude that I told it to, yep. and then it's gonna start. It's doing pretty good with that wind, actually. Now, I'll turn up the fines just so you can see like how much, like what it actually looks like. It's behind that tree. Look how it's blowing it down, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's windy and it's, it's pushing it down in there. 
That's at 50 microns. If I uh, oh, that's why. So it's, yeah. now when you turn it down, you won't be able to see the spray as much. Does it show you how much is left? Yeah. That's awesome. So this will turn green. Yeah. Or put a green line. Yeah. The nice thing is, once you got that in there, it's, it's in there. Yeah. yeah. So here it will. Uh, now it is task complete. It will go straight up and then a straight line home. And so then you and I are going to yep. step back yeah. here. I'll see how accurate it get with uh, auto. So once it gets done, it will paint the lines green where it's gone. So okay, you know, so you know so, it went yeah, everywhere. Yeah, and then it'll tell you how much it sprayed and uh, all that is in here. Half I mean, and that's the thing, it can maneuver in those right. areas. I just did that little, it was a half acre little piece yeah. with trees in it and every type of obstacle you could come up with and the drone did fine. And now we're gonna go behind his house and boundary another one. I'm gonna fly down this field, get a decent boundary. Just uh, building boundaries again. Uh, use the drone, go around the edge. Gave me a trail of where the drone went and now I'm just going through here and creating the boundaries. So we're gonna bring it down because it's really drifting. Yeah. Well, droplet is at 220. I tell you what, I'm impressed is how good it's keeping on course in such wind. You would never spray in such wind, but it's always correcting for that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that dust that you see in there. You won't be able to see it. It's not bad. That's 500 microns. So that would be the biggest droplet it can do. It doesn't drift near as much. Yeah. I know you're gonna do that thing again. Like the drift is going all over the place. It's windy, but we're traveling. I don't even know how many thousands of miles I've put on already. We can't know what the weather's like when we get there. These guys like, you know, had this scheduled out for a while. We're showing up on this day and I gotta get back home. We wanna show him what he can do. He understands that it's windy, but he did like Lee was saying, you know, he, the swath widths, like it's wider than he thought it's going to be. So once you guys see these drones work, that is when you'll be like, oh, this could actually work. And so that's, I'm telling you what, once you guys get to see this, you will be convinced that it is the way of the future. We got a couple of these fields uh, boundaried off for him, flew the drone out there. Yeah, I think he, he likes what he sees. I wish the wind wouldn't be this high. You could really see that swath width then, but that's all we got for you guys on this one. I gotta thank the Lukaskis for letting me come out here and doing a demo for him. And it really means a lot. And uh, I'm excited of where it's going. Make sure to hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.